I'm your downtown Indy community reporter, Nico Panisi, and nearly 30 miles of underground sewage tunnels are finally complete in Indianapolis. The project is helping keep waterways like the White River clean and safe to use. A commitment to cleaner water, healthier ecosystems, and a future where the White River is at the heart of our city's identity. The White River is Peter Bloomquist's place of healing. That was a good chunk of impetus of starting Frank's Paddle Sports Delivery. We wanted folks to be able to get out and experience that same sort of thing that I've been blessed to do. Bloomquist owns Frank's Paddle Sports Delivery, a canoe, kayak, and stand-up paddleboard rental company located in Riverside Park. He's noticed a difference in the water next to his business in recent years. It's been transformative, right? So Dig Indy, the section on White River up above uh, and through our area at Frank's Paddle Sports Delivery has been online since 2022. Citizens Energy Group's Dig Indy Tunnel System has been under construction for the past 14 years, with the first two tunnels going live in 2017. The $2 billion project captures sewage overflow that used to flow directly into waterways during heavy rains. Ultimately, it's a human health issue, right? We never want uh, human waste flowing into our rivers uh, where our, our wildlife calls home and where uh, us uh, as people uh, love to recreate. This week marks the completion of the last two tunnels, Fall Creek and Pleasant Run. From a day-to-day -day basis, this is going to be a huge impact to the cleanliness of our surface waters in central Indiana. Between all six tunnels, Citizens anticipates capturing 5 billion gallons of sewage per year. Dig Indy manager Mike Miller says this is having a big impact on the local environment. We're seeing already um, different uh, microorganisms, different fish species, things that have not been seen in central Indiana waterways are, are starting to come back. At White River State Park, I'm your downtown Indy community reporter, Nico Panisi, WRTV.